I was always really, really serious about music and about creating stuff. We started the band years ago now. There's a road, I think it's the highest motorway in Britain, and on the right-hand side, just past uh, Saddleworth. At night time, it's absolutely beautiful, 360 of uh, city lights. And uh, I was going to see somebody who I loved, and I always thought of it as her illuminations, but it was more of a message to the person, so it became your illuminations. When we started, the first thing we realized was we just really enjoyed playing shows. If you play in front of enough people, eventually someone will like it. Our fans are really important to us, and we always try and spend as much time as we can with them. Sadly, at the end of June, we found out that um, one of our close friends passed away. We thought we'd try and help spread the word, really, about mental health. We decided that we'd put together the Glitter Tour to raise money and help spread awareness for Mind. Before we were due to go on tour, I was unfortunate enough to break my leg. So we were faced with quite the possibility of having to cancel the tour, but that was not going to happen. <laughs> going around on tour in a wheelchair was pretty inconvenient, to say the least. <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, seeing as you're here, you may as well come with me. Welcome. Can you help me though? I can't get through the door. For real. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we don't take ourselves very seriously on tour. We're professionals, obviously. But we do have a lot. It's not easy being me. There you go. Ready as bacon, you guys. Are you ready as bacon? Place. We were stuck, that's why we did it. Is it actually lubricant? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Imagine just laying some princess right. down and just being like, you know what? Right. I can't handle this on my own. Lubricant, we need it. Use it. Ooh. The show at Cambridge was great, it was a really good start to talk. We met a lot of people who really did get what we were trying to say. We've only played there once and we didn't we didn't know so many people there but I think we left with a lot of friends, a lot of new friends, a lot of people hopefully will be there next time. If I was say one thing about Cambridge, it would be that it's fashionably lovely. If I can't get a fat Guinness for five quid, shit! She opened it, but it's Charlie don't serve. Charlie doesn't serve. No. Oh. I'm gonna take a picture and send it to Doug. Hey Doug, if you can see this right now, I'm licking a part of you. Yeah. <laughs> Lube. On stage. You need it. Use it. You heard it. Tall life is not sleeping, laughing your ass off, and then just having the best time. It's strange that a lot of people get a bit scared of going to London, but I get excited. First. Oh, oh, 
my shower stuff through the bathroom. I'm a ghost. Thrust. Alright, he's gonna put them on my face using the power of his mind. Dude's on the pick. What fucking hell, I don't know how you did that, mate. That was fucking epic. Yeah. You genius. Just day toi. I'm going to Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, look, come inside the bus. Yeah, come on. Fun. This we is got, where we sit. We've got fruity chews, we've got bottles of water. <sighs> Right, this it. is where I sit, where Davy drives. This is where I, you know, sit. That's where Dave sits. This is where I put my crutches. Well, that's it, really. Welcome to London, everyone. Uh, I'll tell you, it's been a hard mating season for Robbie. But I'll start my new searches on Cumming Street. I shall be a fruitful one for all. Right, any suggestions, anybody? What should my name be? This is my Starbucks cup. It needs to be something new. <laughs> what? The Hogwarts. Bye! A lot of effort. It's not that steep, but fuck it up. Can't wait to see everybody from the south. We've come all the way to London, you know, it's a long drive. Well, like 24 hours ago, we were just setting off. Oh, yeah, London. Couldn't see Big Ben. And, uh, yeah, it's not great. Disco fever! I'm going to have to tell you now. It's going to be too hot, but I'll have to see how it goes, but I'll tell you now, it's going to be too hot, but I'll see how it goes, but I'll tell you now, it's going to be too hot, but I'll see how it goes, but I'll tell you now, it's going to be too hot, but I'll see how it goes. Hello. <laughs> My arse all fucking hurts right now. The show in London is always great, and it was this time as well. The London show was amazing, and that was the show where I thought we're on this now. Great venue, great sound guys, great vibe all round. It was one of the most emotional performances I've ever, ever given, especially to Glitter. I couldn't sing the full thing without crying because, well, everyone was singing it for me. I think it was the best. Great show. So good. People have been buying me drinks. Oh my god, I'm drunk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> lit, lit, lit. Uh, I'm also drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real job, yeah, yeah. real job. Lube. You need it. Use it. Tour life, yeah. Tour life can be really tiring. We've done 2,000 miles in two weeks before. So you're driving really early in the morning to get somewhere because it's a long drive and then you're loading in and then you're waiting and then you're playing and all these things are, are you know, they take, they sap all your energy. And then after you play you've got to take all the down, you've got to load out into your car and then you've got to drive another couple of hours to, to go and sleep on some floor. Well every time that we go we always bring a little shitty acoustic guitar with us because wherever we stay, even if it's like someone's kitchen or anything, or even if we're sleeping in like the back of a van or something, we always have a laugh. We always manage to have a laugh with best friends. Uh, and we always write music. So <laughs> there's been, I mean, there's been a few times when we've written songs on tour. We've been literally after the show, like three in the morning, absolutely knackered, we'll get an idea and we'll just keep it going. We lost a friend to us, a really close friend something that uh, hit us really in the serious spot, which just kind of generated this song very quickly and we wanted to give something back. She was the Glitter Woman and she did a lot 
She dedicated her life to mental health, actually. She's a lot for mind herself. So we wrote this song called Glitter. We decided to put it out on Bandcamp, not iTunes or Spotify, because we could raise money for mind through doing it that way. And uh, we put a, a minimum sp a spend of three pounds on it. And I don't think we had one single minimum spend on it in the first month. People, like even a person, it popped up on my phone, somebody spent 50 pounds towards Glitter, towards Mind. So that's why we did this tour, just to let people know that, just look around you, there's so many people there. It was something a bit different for us. We've done shows for charity before, we've never done a full tour, we've never like dedicated a whole section of pretty much our, ourselves to do something for charity and it was a really, really good feeling to be able to do it, to be able to go out there and see see the amount of effect that it was having on people, to be able to come out there and say, I felt this way before, I've had these problems before and what we were doing, it felt like we made a big difference to a lot of people. Bristol's a long way away, it's really far because we're from so far north, then Bristol is so far south. I always absolutely love playing Bristol. Everybody absolutely gives it. Uh, it's a beautiful place. A lot of friends have traveled a lot of miles to come and see us at the Bristol show. Oh well, London was a smash hit, if I have to say anything about it. I thought it was amazing. A lot of people there got it, a lot of people there bought me drinks. I thought it was very nice. What do you think there? Yeah, one bad. Pretty surreal. I thought when I was in school, when it, if we got to the, you know, when you get to the point when people are traveling countries with tattoos of the band lyrics on their arms and yeah, their exactly. tits. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I just thought I'd be a millionaire by now. It's gonna get broken again. What's that? Eye mask. Well, it's a good idea. Cheers on you while you sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, at now least I don't know who's come on me. <laughs> Welcome to Bristol, the home of what's not quite the sea. Bristol. Uh, we went to a music shop there. Who's those? We play solo. Let me show you my big knob. There it is. Have you ever experienced a long drive after a gig? Well, if you have, call this number. One, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Fucking yeah, bro. It's gonna be three hours after this show. I think we need a lot of coffee. <laughs> I can't believe we have such a long drive. Long drive. I got any more chewing gum to We're gonna have to go and fill up on coffee. Coffee and, and then just nail it. Coffee and appendicitis. Coffee and appendicitis. Maybe a couple oh, of. Oh, you got fresh fast here. Fret. Broken when you legs. Need to not be slow. Nice, I like that. That was actually really lubricant. Good, actually, yeah. You need it. Use it. Bristol. Oh wow. Wow, we gotta think of this ball here, this ball, as the world. Everyone all around it is wet. Don't let the muggles get you down. There are lots of assholes out there and a lot of bullies who can put you in physical and emotional pain. But you must be a pod head, don't be a neg head. Do what I did, keep going on tour. Even though you have to wear a ski boot, walk on these fuckers, and play sat down. But it's still fine. Bye. It's so difficult. But those chavs wouldn't, wouldn't think twice about doing this to another person. Hope you feel some remorse, you bellends. <laughs> right, well I'm at the top. I've climbed, I've literally climbed Everest, so it feels like it. And I'm about to go and play a rock show. I hope everybody enjoys it. Can you open the door for me? <laughs> I'm kidding, I can do it myself. It was hard. <laughs> and it was sweaty and it was wet. It just kind of spurs you on, like, okay, I can do this, we can do better, we can overcome this, we can make a great show out of it. And I, I really like fighting 
to make something special. Overall, it was one of my favourite shows I've ever played. Basically, there's a place called Woolly Edge, which just sounds really fun to say. I had it in my mind we were staying there, which is quite a long way. And I just thought, why did I decide to book a place to stay after Bristol? It was like, you know, like three and a bit hours away. Like, after a gig, you know, when we're all tired. I thought, oh, this doesn't sound like me. And then you say, hey, he's you know, we're staying in the same place as Tom Lumley, which is going to be fun, have a few drinks. Like, yeah. He's not insane, uh, Willie Edge, you know. I was like, is he not? No, I'm staying in Tamworth, I thought. We're staying Tamworth as well. <laughs> don't know where the fuck Willie Edge came from. I've never heard of it. It was really difficult. It was just I was using all like the extra muscles in my body that I was already quite scarce of anyway. To just stay on it without it falling over and just like, you know, not having the whole leg. And every time I try to put some pressure on it, the whole leg. Blinding pain in my chest from trying yeah. to sing. An horrible pain in my leg. But it was somehow still quite a magical gig for me. I just, it's just great. And here we are at a McDonald's. <laughs> at the end of the night, it, you can't you can't beat it. That's not for you, mate. Oh, it is. But I need to show you something. Right, okay, I was just went to the bathroom. Oh, yeah? And I'm going to show you what I saw. Go on, show me how black it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Right, let's zoom in on this. Wait, hold on a minute, you get that down. Okay. What's zoom in that? on this. <laughs> what the shit? Sorry. Well, someone's obviously done a number that doesn't that shouldn't that shouldn't be done in that toilet. They've done it, and well, all the, instead of moving it, they've just uh, taped over it. Well, you can't they've move it. Really, can you? Of course you can. I'm fine with moving a poo. You're not. I'd move a poo someone any day. So I, I, it's, I won't waste my good hard hard work for tape on a urinal no, where I right. could just pick up a turd and throw it into a different toilet just to get rid of their tape, really. That's the hottest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. So, we woke up in Tamworth after a really uncomfortable night's sleep, ready for a long drive. Little did we know, we had a really, really long day ahead of us. Let's go. Best way to get rid of uh, people that you don't want, get a confetti cabin, put, put it, it in them. Put it in them, yeah, in the bum. So, it's, so the shooter's facing outwards, not inwards, because that would be papery. And you just give it a good twist, and confetti will come where, where she was. She. We're not speaking about anybody in particular. And then, they'll, and then they'll fly, and then they'll just fly away. They'll be gone. They'll be Take that to reason, gone. mate. <laughs> politics. Vote me. I'll bring politics and lubrication to the people of the United Kingdom. And we'll all be wet and clever. And I was eating my fucking breakfast and my spoon snapped. And to top it all off. I've fucking broken down! Fucked! Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my banana. Setting off from Tamworth, and my engine starts cutting out. I did not believe that we were gonna make the show. Well, this is my uh, Newcastle gig. In here, Loughborough. <laughs> it was four o'clock by the time my car got to the garage, and they were saying that it was going to be an hour and a half. We were three and a half hours away from Newcastle. Greg's coffee, got my wallet, got my coat, got my phone. There's a spoons down there. May as well have a drink while I'm here. Rick actually broke down about maybe a hundred and something miles south of Newcastle and we thought we were going to have to play the show acoustic. So we stopped by a friend's house, he lent us an acoustic guitar and a kick drum. We were just going to wing it. Welcome to Loughborough. A little unexpected detail, but um, found a giant tower. Somehow, ended up getting there. We're in Newcastle! When that car pulled up, 
I was so, so relieved, so happy. We just chucked the gear on stage. We've arrived! Right. Where have you been? <laughs> we fucking did it, mate! Yeah, Rich came, he arrived, and I was over the moon. Although I did spend the whole day rehearsing Bohemian Rhapsody on the acoustic guitar. So I didn't get to play that. We are in Newcastle on Rock and Roll Alpha, I can't wait. Dude, you need it. And when Rick arrived, well, there's only one thing left to do play a rock show. Playing live, I absolutely love it. It's just an escape from everything. I go pretty fucking mental. I get very injured playing on the shows. It's the one time in my life where I can really like fully express how I feel without having to put it into just straight into words and I can just let myself go. When someone kind of says, you know, oh how do you how do you get up in front of people and do something? I kinda of like the feeling that well, that's me. I was actually really Pleasantly surprised with after all the antics of the day, Newcastle went absolutely fucking incredible. Or oh, one of my favourite shows to date, really. It really felt like there was an atmosphere, and that's always what I feel in Newcastle. We smashed it. Good night, Newcastle. You fucking rotten night. Oh yeah, man. Finally, we found ourselves on the way to Manchester. The last show of the top. It does really feel like the band's coming home every time we come to Manchester. Manchester is a place very close to all of us. It's kind of, you know, it's our adopted hometown. We, uh, we get plenty of people out to every show and we just always have the best, the best time. It's just got bigger and bigger from like the smallest shows that we've played till now. It's just grown and it's, it is like, I've said it before, but it's like a big family. There's quite a few fans that just waited outside the doors all day, which is, it's nice. People brought donuts and people brought nachos to the show. And everybody wore glitter. It was absolutely, really horrendous. <laughs> it was a taxing day, but then to get to the end and play a show like that, it's, it's, it makes it all worthwhile. I thought we'd put on the best show we've ever put on. It was one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show I've ever played. Do the dishes tonight